Okay, we're going to be drawing a leaf today. Okay, it can be any color. And we're going to use dye. Because we practiced using lead last week, I'm going to use the ice cream tub lid as my pen tray, my lid. Okay, start with the dark, the light color. We always start with the light color and move on to the dark color. Okay, just a wee little dot. Okay, you can map it up in pencil first or you don't have to. I'm not going to map it up in pencil. I'm just going to go like maybe a bit more water. Now on my leaf, there are a little bit of uh, dots in lines, and uh, I will try to I'll try to recreate this, but I don't have to put in all the details. But I try as much as possible to make it interesting. Okay, because we are doing observational drawing, we are trying to see everything. We are trying to record everything that we see. This is why it's called observational drawing. Now the interesting thing about using dye is you you don't have no there is black now I better not lie eh there's black dye but I don't encourage people to use the black color well unless your control is really good you can add a little bit of black it's not wrong to add the black but then it just make your color really muddy. In between, you may need to dry your artwork. So I've set up the hair dryer in the heater fin for you to dry your artwork a bit in between. Because if you don't dry your artwork, you can't actually add on the nice layer of color on top. Okay, so I'm going to take a minute to go dry my stuff. Okay, you don't have to dry your artwork 100%. It's about 80%, 70% dry. It's good enough because sometimes you want it a little bit of the uh, wet on semi wet layers to kind of help you spread the color. Now, because my room is really small and I switch on the heater to dry my artwork, so that could be like 
my leaf is changing shape so it is it's curling up much more than it should so I'm just going to use my imagination now to continue with my drawing instead of uh, referring to that Basically, do not overdo it. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, there are two other leaves that I've done. Uh, okay, yeah, you can see there's the one that I did in dye as well. And I've left quite a bit of white where the lights are and a little bit of detailing of shape. Now, the second one that I did was I did a wash, just a rough wash, and then I used black liner paint and go over the detailing so you could do that so I would suggest that for people who want to impress the teacher and get really good marks for yourself is you could do one just dye and the other one you could have dye in paint on top okay good luck enjoy your work